Passata is something we use so often. So what if I told you that it was very simple to make your own that you could just batch cook and use all the time? Well, it starts off with roasting your veggies so you get that nice, intense flavour and really, really simple ingredients to do it. So I've got a couple of garlic cloves and I'm just going to mash them just so that that flavour comes out bit of onion here too. We simply just need to quarter it because we are going to actually press these things. And then, of course, passata, we're going to need tomatoes. Really, really simple. Don't worry about piercing them either. We're going to put some tomatoes on there. I've got some lovely baby capsicums. These mini caps are just gorgeous. Don't need to do anything to those either. Just get them all over there on the tray and some mixed tomatoes, all that beautiful colour, which means lots of antioxidants. So on we go there. I mean, that's just gorgeous, isn't it? Now I'm going to add to that some extra virgin olive oil. This is, of course, a very Mediterranean style thing to do. So we'll get some of that. A good amount of Murray River salt flakes. Some cracked black pepper. I'm going to add a few herbs as well. So I've got some rosemary, so you simply just strip a little of this off. This is going to make all the difference in the passata. I've got a little bit of thyme. And I have some Greek oregano here, absolutely beautiful. So I have some of that. Now that's just going to go into the oven on 180 degrees for about one hour. We want it to really roast down and then I'm going to get it into my press and show you how to make your own homemade passata. So they've roasted wonderfully. Now I have my Magimix juicer here. Now juicer, making passata, I hear you say, but it's a wonderful way of doing it. Now I've got the extra press function on there. And the wonderful thing about this is it will get it into a puree form, but not lose any of that nutrition or flavor. So it's wonderful. It's nice and cold pressed, and that's how we retain that nutrition. So in we go with just a bit and another spoonful in there, and I've got the rest of this to do. So that looks about done there. Now, my little tip is to just stir through a little bit of vinegar, just to play with a bit of sweet and sour. Now, I have here some monk fruit uh, sweetener, which is a great alternative to sugar. I'm just going to put one teaspoon of that in there. Mix it around a little. Now, of course, I have to try this. I've got some warmed macaroni elbows here, which are just going to be fabulous with a little of this passata. Let's mix it around. All right, so, so simple. In we go there. Mm, that's lovely. It's actually really summery. It's fantastic. You can go harder on the capsicum if you want or have more tomato. I think that's absolutely perfect. It can be used in so many different ways as well. So now you have that in your tool belt and I hope you use it.